and tell me when. I want to show you these beautiful fabric panels. So these are really large panels that you can make something like a cushion with, or you can cut them up to create something smaller. They come in three designs and you've got the lovely leaf design. Now this one, I did actually a video for Hochanda YouTube on leaves. So that will give you some ideas on how to embroider that. We've also got the cow parsley design and this is more of a standalone design. You can choose to embroider as much or as little as you wish on that. And then finally, we've also then got the lavender design, which again is more of a standalone design. With these panels, you're getting full instructions and some ideas for a bit of a stitch guide there. With the kit, you're also getting some stencils so that you can create your own little hanging sachets. So you're getting four of those. And then all you need to do is choose where on your design you're going to do this. I wouldn't do it right in the middle, but I'm just going to show you right in the middle. And that's OK, because these are heat erasable pens. And so I can just get rid of this outline anyway. So all you're going to do is draw around the area that you're going to work on. Let's just pop that through there. And then don't cut it out, leave it large so that you've got lots of fabric to work with and then just design, uh, embroider or whatever design you're going to pop within the centre of that. So you're going to be able to do that with all of these. Even on your tiny, tiny scraps of fabric right at the edge of the panels on these, you can create sort of little designs, little projects. We've got a little tape box there. Um, you could even put them in the mini frames for jewellery maybe. Then what I also want to show you is the little ladybird design. So this is a stitch that we haven't covered together before and it's called the granitos stitch, which in Spanish is little grain. So I'm going to start with, I've actually got three strands of red thread here and I'm going to start by doing my little ladybird body. I've already got a knot in this. You won't believe it, would you? <laughs> we'll work from the knot. So all you can do is your beginning and end point are always going to remain the same. So that's your first stitch. Your second stitch is going to go into exactly the same place as are all the remaining stitches. But can you see what I'm doing is I'm actually pulling it to the side each time so it's going one way and then it's going another so we're going to go to this side the next one's going to go to this side try not to get caught up in the back there and this side you could have your ladybirds as large or as small as you like entirely up to you. My house is absolutely covered in ladybirds at the moment, which is probably where this inspiration came from. I thought I've got so many of them, we may as well stitch them, haven't we? So I think on the instructions, I put something like around 15 stitches for your granitos ladybird. And I've also suggested that if you want them even plumper, what you could do is just pop a little straight stitch at the side just to give a bit more of a foundation to be working on. And we can do that either side. Got caught up in that knot underneath. There we go. Let's pop that on this side as well. And then I'm also going to pop another stitch over the top of those. So I've got this lovely plump little ladybird there. The same at this side. Now I could continue adding to that, but I'm just going to show you the rest of the ladybird. I'll find the needle at the back. There we go. That's just so you can see it's it's actually quite nicely raised there. Let me get rid of that needle, and then I've got some black thread here. Now I've. Uh, on the instructions, I've recommended a little bullion knot for his head with two strands, but just to make it quicker to demonstrate, I've just stuck with the one strand at the moment. And then I'm just going to pop a little bullion knot 
head on in, put it a little bit further back. So we're going to go down, hanging onto that thread, bring the needle back up into either the same place you started, which is nowhere near there, or somewhere close to. Don't split the thread. Let's do, that's how many wraps. Let's have a quick look. A couple more wraps on that, I think. Oh yeah, that's a couple more because we've only got one strand here. And I'm sorry you've got my fingers over this. I can't really avoid doing that. So we've got a little ladybird head there. With one strand, I'd pop him some legs on. So just some small straight stitches for his legs. And I believe ladybirds have six legs. It's ladybirds having six legs anyway. If he's got more, he's just hiding them underneath him. The same on this side. Put them well into his body there. I say he, I don't know whether it's a he or a she actually. I don't know whether there's difference in colouring. But there we go. And then all he needs now is a few spots. So what I'm going to use for spots is just some French knots. And I think we'll do a couple of wraps. I've only got a single strand here. And what it's also helping do is to sort of anchor down those little straight granito stitches. So we'll have one there. Have another one in the centre there. A couple of wraps back down. And if you think they're too big, what you can do is sort of give them a bit of a tug through and they will sort of work their way through. You can have a spot right at the end here. It's quite close to the other one, so I might need to pull that through a bit. And maybe one last one just at the top there. Like that, and I think that'll do for our little ladybird.